Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So I got so much love for a piece that I just did recently on Instagram. And so I'm gonna do something very similar to for you. Um, and it has to do with Cricut's new feature, the offset. So um, let's download this. This is from Creative Fabrica. I love this dream catcher. It's just so delicate and so pretty. Um, when you see these thin lines though, I I ended up doing this piece uh, with HTV. So heat transfer vinyl, it can handle the more intricate cuts. And then I did the last two layers in cardstock. So I'm gonna show you how to do it though. This looks so darn cute. Okay, so download. Um, I already have a membership. So of course, when I'm on Creative Fabrica's site, anything that I like, <clears throat> excuse me, I will just click on the download button. If you only have an account, but you don't have a membership, then of course you need to check out and pay. But in the end, it's still the same way. When you get to download it, uh, what happens is when you click on it, it comes as a zip file. I would say 99% of the files come over zipped because they have different formats and different, um, a lot of times, different versions of the same piece. Um, so anyway, what you wanna do is, you're gonna go up here, and I always do show in folder because I wanna look to find the file that I'm going to use. So here's my, oh, I <laughs> downloaded it twice, but Love My Tribe, so I'm gonna double click on it. And I'm gonna click on this one, Love My Tribe, because I don't have a Mac. And here you go. So you have your different options. Here's a JPEG, PNG file. The one that I want is this one. So I'm going to move this one over and I'm gonna drop it into my desktop. So the file is called Love My Tribe, right? So now let's go into Design Space. Oops, I already have it open. Give me just one second. All right, here we go. Uh, let's do a new project. And you'll want to go to Upload because we want to go get that file. So click on Upload and Upload Image and browse. Now, once we're in browse, you wanna go to your desktop and go find your file. And I think it was called my something. <laughs> I, I know my head is, I can only hold so much in there. I've lost it. Okay, give me a second, let me see. It's a love my tribe. Okay, so. Love my tribe, so I'm gonna double click on it. And you know, for me, even though the thing is called Love My Tribe, if I ever wanna find this again, there's no way I'm gonna know. <laughs> so I'm gonna change my image to Dreamcatcher because I think that I would remember that better. Okay, then I'm gonna click on Upload. So this is a cut image, it's coming over as cut. Select it and insert your image. Now, I'm going to do, I'm not going to do my daughter's name because it's too long, but what I want to do is I actually want to take out the word tribe and I want to put something else in here. Maybe I'll put my name just because it's so short and I can show you how to do that. And then we're going to do a couple offsets. So first thing is I don't need love my. So in your right hand side panel, you can just delete that. So I'm going to click on this and click delete click on love and delete. So now I have this, I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. And if you notice right now, I don't have a background, right? It's plain white. All you need to do is click on the three bars in the left hand side, go to settings, and I want a full grid. I do the no grid because sometimes I wanna import the picture over and I'm using it for um, like a, thumbnail or a story on Instagram. And so that's that's helpful. Maybe if you're doing um, like a proof to your customer, you might wanna have a plain white background. So that's how you would change it. Okay, so here's the word tribe, right? What I, so I want this little, um, 
I don't know what to call it, like a little flourish, right? So I wanna cut off right around here and right around here. And I'm gonna take, I'm gonna slice out the word tribe and I'm gonna insert my name. So let's go to text real quick. Now this is also from Creative Fabrica, so give me a second, I'm gonna show you where it is. Oops, no, here we go. Um, this is my, one of my favorite fonts. The reason why I love it so much is because it has all the little flourishes. It looks very whimsical and delicate, but it isn't. <laughs> it's actually very low maintenance and so easy to use. It cuts beautifully. So you can see like even when you're looking right around here, it's not thin, right? Or you, we've seen thinner, let's say. So this works out great. All right, so now that you know where to get this, let's go back into design space and I'm gonna use that font. So I'm gonna go over here and search for a Hannah Berry. And there it is. So I'm gonna click on that and then I'm gonna type my name. And it didn't come in for some reason. Let's do that again. Okay, there we go. No, let's make it big. One of the tricks to doing this is you wanna get this side is not a big deal because it will just attach to the letter A, right? But this side, we're kind of angling it into this a little bit. So, well actually, yeah, so we wanna make this thicker so it kind of matches that, right? I mean, we could do something like this. Okay, so let's ungroup this, move this over so that it actually fits, right? Okay. Now let's grab these two. So hit the shift key, I'm doing it here. The reason why I'm not grabbing it with my mouse over here is because it, uh, I'm not gonna be able to grab just these two. It feels like I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna grab this third image as well. So over on your right hand side panel, you can just hit the shift key and grab the A and the N. You know they're both selected because it's a darker gray and then I'm just gonna weld it. Okay, so now that we have this, and this now is one image, it's one line item, right? We'll move it over. Let's do this, let's slice this out. So when you're slicing, you you can only slice two things at one time. So it's gonna be a shape, in this case, with the dream catcher. So now this is a little tricky because the T kind of goes across over here. Don't worry about the fact that we're not, this is not part of within the rectangle or square. So unlock it. We're gonna pull this out and we want to do something like this, right? We want it to end here and end here. So now let's grab these two items and slice. As long as you're slicing the majority of this, which we, the word tribe is basically almost all covered in here, except for this little swoosh of the T, right? So it's easy to fix that. All right, so here we go. We can just delete that and delete this and this. So what we have left is this, right? We wanna get rid of this. This is super easy. Just go to contour, select that little swoosh so that we can remove it. And I'll come up in a second, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> All right, so just select it and see how it's kind of grayed out now. When you exit out of this, it will be gone. The contour tool is so awesome, I love it. Okay, so now let's do this. So we're gonna want something like this. Let's make it smaller. We can make this a little bit smaller so we can attach it. Um, so it's not fully touching right now. So we can either, I mean, there's a couple things you can do. We can grab this and make it a little bit bigger so it touches, right? All right, so now that it's in there, we're gonna grab everything and weld it. When you weld it, now it looks like it's one whole image. It doesn't look like we messed with it, at least not in my eyes. Um, and then now, I when I did this big sign, 
I cheated a little bit and I used 24, uh, a 12 by 24 inch cardstock. So this is from Joann's, it's glitter cardstock. I was putting it up in the room and I just didn't want any seams. Um, I think I could have made certain colors work, but I really wanted to do white and gold and I just felt like I couldn't really make it seamless. So that's why I went with that option. So just know that, I mean, sometimes it's just easier to go with the bigger paper and pay a little bit more for it, but you know, it works so well for your project. And this is going up, it's a room decor piece, and so I really wanted it that big. All right, so don't worry about the size yet. What we wanna do is we wanna grab this, and we're gonna go to our offset tool. If you don't have the offset tool, you need to download um, the latest version of Design Space. And if that still doesn't work, what you need to do is go over to the three bars, go to your settings, you need to make sure that under canvas style, you're in the new. If you're in classic, it won't have the offset. So just change over to new and you'll have this. So now let's click on offset. Now this line right here for offset, that's at zero. So if you're at zero, there is no offset. It is just your image. When you go to the right, so this is the positive, right? We're getting bigger. Your offset is gonna be bigger. If your ball, you, if you take it to the left of this line, it's gonna be inside. So it's the internal offset if you're using Inkscape, for instance. You go inside the line, so it's a negative, it's smaller. All right, so this looks like it's a really big piece and it's taking a while for this to give us an offset. Um, okay, there's my offset. And let's say you like it, I'm just gonna click Apply. So now you see we have this beautiful offset that looks amazing, right? Now, if you want another offset, which is what I did, grab the two items again and click on offset. And now it's gonna give you one bigger. And there it is. And then just click apply. We can change this and make it a little bit thinner. Um, I find that the thinner you are, like the closer you are to the zero, then it feels, um, a little bit more, I don't know, elegant is the right word, but just uh, more adult-ish. Like I feel like the big offsets, um, it just reminds me of more like young kids stuff. But anyway, um, but it's a matter of personal preference, so I could totally be off. <laughs> okay, the way I did this was, this top one is gold and it's HTV, oops, wrong one, this one. This one's gold. Okay, this back one is also gold, but it's gold glitter cardstock, so I wanna make it a different color. And then this one I did white. Okay, so now you have this. Now what you wanna do is you wanna grab all three, and now you can size it. So my width is going, to, I'm gonna go all the way to 23.5. Because my biggest layer is going to be that gold glitter cardstock, and that one, the max is 23.5. So now you're gonna have this piece, um, oh, it's 23.5 by 11.6. So you're not gonna be able to do this. So what you wanna do is you wanna change this to 11.5. So it's gonna be just a little bit less than 23.5 inches, it's 23.2 inches. But this you will be able to cut with the 12 by 12 mat. So let's go and look at what it looks like when we go to make it. Okay, just click okay, because it's saying you need a 12 by 24 mat, so not a big deal. So here is the first piece. Here's the, the middle piece. It's the white layer. It's the first offset. It's pretty big, right? It runs the whole mat. Here is the, oh, okay. Let's look at this. I don't, I like to actually, um, have this be solid. So we'll go back to that screen and I'll show you how to do the solid. And then here's our top layer in HTV. If you do this in HTV like I did, you wanna make sure that you go and you mirror. So this changes to this way and then it's shiny side down, okay? Let's cancel out of this. I wanna show you that last layer, how to get rid of the holes. So let's pull this layer out so you can see it. I didn't see it when we first did it because it was hidden 
So I like a solid background. All you need to do is go to contour and click hide all. I'll just give you one big blank, like one big full piece. I prefer that. Um, so this will cut and then let's put this back. And then you're done, right? So it's so easy to merge things and do an offset these days because before I had to do everything in Inkscape and it was a little bit difficult. Um, but now you can merge two. It's so easy to slice and then um, merge your two projects. So I see a lot of this with cake toppers. So now like your back layer, for instance, would cover everything. Like if you added a name and age, characters, um, and then like a circle doily design or something, now you can have all of that have an offset and it's just gonna look so amazing. All right, let me know what you think. Post in comments if you wanna see something different, if you like this, you want me to go faster, slower, <laughs> whatever it is. All right, thanks guys, I'll see you next time.